TFNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Thursday, the 23rd of February, 10 a.m. Tiger Financial News Network market update. We're looking at the Dow up 198 to 33,243. Look how it came to the exact left side low of 32,948 yesterday. He hit it exactly. So I anticipate there'd be some kind of a bounce for two reasons. One, is that the 200 period moving average held, it went under it, closed a little bit above it, and that on a very short term basis, I see an oversold condition and therefore there should be a bounce. How much, how long, and intraday, does it hold 120 points after 130 this afternoon? Does it suddenly turn negative? We'll be seeing about that. Looking at the S&P, S&P at this particular point is, um, up, it's up actually quite nicely. It's up 35 points at 4,026. It went under for the second time. Under the 200 period exponential moving average, uh, the Dow and the S&P are in sell modes on the daily. They should be able to trigger a buy signal if it's a very strong move up. That's a lot of, that's a big ask. So in the meantime, uh, it's at 4,026, up 35. That's very nice. It makes on a very short term basis, 4,016 is key support. That's just very, this is all intraday, let's put it that way. You can see the weekly chart is still holding very nicely above uh, all the different uh, trend line and, and support levels of the moving averages. Look at the QQQ. QQQ is up uh, 3.26 at 297.46. For two days, it went underneath the 200 period moving average. Now it's trying to get above it. It's going to be a struggle. Uh, but the weekly chart has started to improve quite a bit. Looking at the IWM, the Russell 2000 small caps. We're looking at uh, a move up $1.95 at $189.89. It really needs to get to the $192 level by a Monday or Tuesday of next week rather than break under $185. That'll be very negative. Now, this is going to be very interesting because gold, uh, gold is down 7 at 18.33. It's on the 200 period moving average. It's really been struggling and the dollar Actually, talk about struggling. The dollar hasn't really broken above the 200 period moving average, even though it's just down two ticks. And if you're looking at uh, crude oil, uh, crude oil right now is up quite nicely. It's up $1.77. I'll be back for the Tiger Tech. This is how there's a lot to discuss. See you in a few moments and check out Mobile Pickball.